for my rapid review of it's me, Mario. Super Mario 64. Oh man, this brings back memories. R and L. You can just do all kinds of stuff. Just really, <laughs> this really innovative stuff right here. I mean, the other games had like play screens like this. I mean, just if you're bored, you can do this all day. Yeah, I'm not bored though. So let's get into the game. Now, what's interesting here, when I first got this game, it was 96. I had this game, I had my cousin Afton over, and of course, Daniel. So, Afton had the A account, I had the C account for Cody, and Daniel had the D, D account for Daniel. And as you can see, I went the furthest, and I guess once everyone saw me beat it, they kind of lost uh, the desire to see the ending and stuff. But yeah, I kind of ruined it for everybody, I guess. But it was a fun little race we had going on where we would switch, you know, turns playing and see who could get the furthest. And here's my guy. Gonna boot him up. One of the cool things about this game that I really, really love is. With all platformers, you always have to have a nice, good jumping, you know, to do anything in the game. Well, this has such a great array of jumps, and I just love, first you got the triple jump by just jumping three times in the same direction, right? You hold down the Z button, trigger, do backflip, you hold it down before you jump, you can do a long jump. Uh, you make a tight turn and jump, you could do the somersault jump thing, I love that. You could do, let's see... You can do a pound, like jump, fall. Let's see, you can do a dive, a slide. And there's also wall jumps. It's just a jumping galore in this game, and they really handled and made it such a great feature to have so many jumps in this game. I love it. Now, after you beat the game, you get this cannon here opened up. And you take this up here. I always do this whenever I play. Uh oh. Yeah, get the lives. Talk to Yoshi, who makes his first appearance in the whole game at the very end. That's a fun sound. Yeah, pretty much it was the. They're talking about, you know, I hope you play even though you beat the game. Keep playing. Here's a little gift from us to you. As you already saw, I did a triple jump and. This is them giving them all the 100 or 99 lives. I, oh no, it's 100. Some games, I don't know why they stop at 99, but this one, they give you 100. And he dives into the waterfall for some reason. I wish I could ride him, that'd be cool. But anyway, I will show you real fast before I take the wing cap. Is You do the jump, and now you get a little, you get flipping action. And a little extra little jump at the end, too. So I'm going to take the cap. This is one of the coolest features of the 3D game like this is you get to explore this open end world. Oh, that's going to be crappy. I'm going to get a full triple jump before I take off of this thing. There we go. You just get this huge place to roam about. And it's just so awesome. It was so different. It was the first time in the game I've ever been able to open source play it like this. It's just crazy. And the birds and stuff, and it's just, there's so many little things and attention to detail that make this game worth coming back to. I've beaten it a few times, and yeah, I keep on coming back for more. It's just, it's just a classic in every sense of the term. And playing it summer 96 was just so much dang fun. Just never got old. It's probably, in my opinion, it's it may be the it may be to me right up to the top. It's Mario three and this one. Uh, you know, I toggle in my mind which one I like better at different points of the day. Revolutionized the whole platform genre. That's all it did. It, it just did that. I love. I think my favorite level. I like the first level, and I like Tall Tall Mountain. Tall Tall Mountain is fun. And see, that's also cool, going into the pictures. That's just such a creative idea. You know, instead of going, moving your guy, like, on a game board or going through pipes and whatnot, you go through a picture in rooms. Just crazy interface. Ooh, must that make it? 
I just like climbing the mountain. And also, there's this huge slide here that I love going down. It's a good level. Damn. I got peoned. That mole kicked my ass. Alright. There's the mole. Now, which one is it? Gotta find. That was it. That was it. Or. Oh! They're good. Got him. Got him. Oh, they're good. I don't know. I give up. And you just kind of explore and stuff and find things to do that need to be done in the game. I like, I always have fun with this guy. I just always, it's a tradition to throw him off. But get to the side any day now. Wish you could jump with them. You just take him to the cliff. You whip his ass. See right down there? You see that little portal down there? That's where my sliding ride will end. If I can get to that sliding ride. It's hard to get there. This game really just goes through the sticks on the N64 controller like crazy though. If I have a complaint, that's it. It just... It just, ugh, kills them. Now, a lot of wussies like to go down that other path, but I always say, go up the cannonball path. Be a man. You know? Don't be one of them little pussies. Wasn't that hard, was it? Ooh. Morons. Long jump. Yes. Wait, did I pass it? There it is. Slide time. This is one of the cool features of this game that has a few slides in it. I know there's one at the snowman level. There's one that you get a bonus star from. And you got this one on Tall Tall Mountain. They get you into that little little passage right there at the top of the mountain. Slide, I mean just this was revolutionary for the time. Just so fast and hard to keep up with. Now, I mean in today's game it kind of feels tame. You know, compared to other speed stuff I've done, you know, in video games, but it's still fun to just reminisce and go down it. Ooh. Whoa, I almost didn't make it. Right in the hole. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Bitches. Now, collect a. 119 more. But yeah, that's a fun level. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up. I'm gonna give this game a 98 out of 100. And I deducted kind of a few points there because uh, the ending wasn't really the bee's knees for me. It was an okay ending. It was, I mean, it wasn't really bad. And it's par for the course for the Mario series. But I'm just so sick with... I was sick of the t at the time of everything just st still being so stale and stuff about that whole relationship between Princess Toadstool and Mario. I mean, what the hell's the deal with that? You know, you make your friend a cake, you know? Mario, he has to have some kind of relationship with her, right? He saves her every freaking time. It's the same thing, you know, it's that PG crap with uh, Link and Zelda, you know, you're like, okay. He saved you, but there's no, you know, it's just, it's all this friend shit. But, oh, I don't need a friend, bitch. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Hey, maybe you want some of that. Little man on woman violence. She looks shocked in that picture. Oh, yeah. That's even badass. And you're back in the... You're back out in front of the castle with a $2 pinned to your chest and your ass is sore.